When using the brush buster's leaf spray method, remember that the time to begin spraying is in the spring after the soil temperature at a one foot depth has reached 75 degrees. The spray period will last through September. When using the leaf spray method, keep these points in mind. Follow the herbicide label directions. For best results, don't spray when rains have stimulated light green new growth up in the treetops. Don't spray with, if the mesquite leaves are wet. Don't spray if the mesquite leaves show damage due to hail, insects, or disease. And don't spray if you're working immediately upwind of desirable trees, shrubs, or crops. Also remember that your cost of treatment increases rapidly as the density and size of the brush increases. Controlling mesquite is not a one-time job. You'll need to go over your land now and then to get rid of unwanted mesquite sprouts. Remember, the brush busters methods can be used by anyone, regardless of your past experience with brush control or the size of your property. They allow you to sculpt the landscape to satisfy your goals for wildlife, livestock, or aesthetics. Best of all, proper use of these methods greatly reduces the amount of herbicide released in, into the environment and the unnecessary effects on desirable plants. To help you get started with your brush buster program, we've developed this leaflet, How to Beat Mesquite. And the leaflet outlines a simple three-step approach for both the stem and the leaf spray methods. These leaflets are available from your local county extension agent. And if you follow our simple instructions, we're confident that you'll have success using brush buster techniques for controlling mesquite. Darrell, let's crank this deal up and go spray some more mesquite. I'm ready.